A portion of this video is sponsored by Ugreen. All right, so today we're gonna to be getting into my spring 2022 tech everyday carry. Now, if you've been watching my channel for some time, a lot of these products I'm pretty sure you have already seen before, but there has been some things that's been removed and some things that's been added. So let's see what's kind of new in the rotation when I leave up at my house, all right? I have a very minimalistic, realistic, everyday carry, nothing that I don't need. This is basically everything that I use when I step out the house, all right? So everything I talk about, you already know, the links will be down in the description below. So first thing that we gotta go ahead and kick it off with is my iPhone 13 Pro Max, all right? This is literally my lifeline. This is where everything evolves. This is how I manage my channel. This is how I manage my personal life. You already know, so this is my smartphone of choice. Now, last everyday carry, I did have the iPhone 13 Pro, but since then, and then since this uh, beautiful Alpine Green has came out, I've switched over to the Pro Max just because I'm doing so much traveling this year, and I, I like to have that size. I like to have the battery life, most importantly, when we are talking about the 13 Pro Max. All right. I'm an iOS person. I love the ecosystem. I have tons of Apple products. So it's only right that I have an iPhone. All right. So 13 Pro Max in the 256 gigs display camera fluidity. Everything about this is the reason why this is my smartphone of choice. iPhone 13 Max basically being the lifeline that's in my pocket, man. Can't leave the house without the iPhone. You already know. Now, next up, you already know the one thing that I always get asked so much is, T, you review so many cases. What is your daily iPhone case? All right. Now, some people probably already know what time it is, man, but the, my daily, my number one case these days that I always tend to go back to is the Pataka Mag Easy Pro case. This is a case that it just has a hold on me. You know, some pieces of tech just has that hold on you. That's what it is when it comes to this Pataka case, man. It's just a nice all-in-one case. I love the carbon fiber Kevlar type design. When you're talking about fit, well, let's forget that. On the inside, nice felt design. Probably has the strongest MagSafe magnets out there on the market. And I rely heavily on MagSafe. Very tight fit. And it's just minimalistic. I mean, keeps the phone thin. Not a bulky case at all. Because we already know in the springtime, you don't need anything that's too bulky in your, in your pocket. Because I don't like to have a whole bunch of stuff in there. But when it comes to the Pataka Mag Easy Pro case, I just love it. Thin, very tight fitting, strong MagSafe magnets. And just very sleek and minimal. So this is the reason why this is always in my rotation when it comes to phone cases. Pataka Mag Easy Pro Case. Now, if you're interested in picking one of these up, these are always sold out. So if you're interested, drop down the link down below and make sure you grab one and don't miss it because when it sells out, they go out of stock for a very long time. So make sure you pick one up. But yep, when I leave out the house these days, this is most likely on my phone and this is the case that has been on my 13 Pro Max the most since I've owned it. And of course, you already know if you're in the iOS ecosystem, if you rock the iPhones, you make sure you always gotta have your AirPod Pros on deck, all right? I mean, I don't really want, I don't know what is it that's needed to say about the AirPod Pros. These have been getting it done. I have owned these since release day and I'm here to tell you that I cannot wait for the new model because the model, the battery on these are starting to deplete very quickly. Like they go, they go dead just in a few hours and it's a little bit unacceptable, but I just like to have the, the you know, the, the ecosystem and the continuity between my AirPod Pros, between my MacBook, between my iPad. I like to have it all flowing together, man. So AirPod Pros, definitely in the rotation. Can't wait to the new updated pair. And of course, wrapped around it is going to be the Pataka Air Case for your AirPod Pros. This is just something I've always used when it is camp come to these. They just always work good. Just keeps it protected because I do not like the shiny back that the actual AirPod Pros have. I just wish nothing was shiny. I wish Apple could just do kind of a matte everything, but in order to protect it, I do have the Pataka Air Case on it. These, this stays up there good. I can drop it, anything doing to it, and it's gonna protect your AirPods just fine. So AirPod Pros, definitely like to rock with that. And one more thing that I actually added new to the everyday type carry thing, and this is something that I never thought I would carry until I got one of these, all right? And this is gonna be the Nomad pin all right now if you're not familiar with nomad they make some of the best 
leather accessories out there on the market when it comes to your smartphone and some of the best chargers out there ever, man. I'm actually going to be doing a few new chargers that they actually dropped. I need to get into those. Those are very dope. But this pin, all right? Now, this is a pin that I don't think most of you probably will not go out and buy, all right? This is a $50 pin, all right? But this is thing is made out of like solid metal. This is not a light pin. It has a nice weighted design. And when they sent this to me, I was just like, wow. I got to always watch this. My girlfriend always trying to steal this pin, even though I gave her one. But I don't know why she's always trying to take it. But this pin right here is just amazing. So I do find myself leaving about the house these days and making sure that my extra version of this pin is in my car or if not in my pocket because I ship a bunch of packages out and I just love this pin, all right? Like it just flows. I'm about to start writing on my table, but this is a nice pin. So if you're in the market for a nice pin, say you want to give a nice Father's Day gift out there and you want a nice pin or something like that, check out the Nomad pin. Very, very nice. I might have to do a video of the best pins because a lot of these brands send me their like premium pin and they're on point. But Nomad might be the top of the line when you're talking about an everyday pen. I just I just love this thing. And when this goes out, I'm pretty sure I will be placing my order for another one. So yep, $50 for a pen if you're looking for that premium experience. All right, before we continue with the video, let me tell you a little bit about today's sponsor and that's gonna be Ugreen. Now this is the part that fits the bill perfectly when we are talking about everyday carry items because you can use this every day or you can use it exclusively like I do when I go travel and that is gonna be the Ugreen GAN 4-in-1 100 watt charger, all right? And this thing right here is gonna be laced with one, two, three USB type C's and a type A port all delivering up to 100 watts of power. So if you have that 16 inch MacBook Pro, you can fully charge that in an hour and a half. Or if you have an iPhone 13 series, you can get up to 60% charge in 30 minutes, which is gonna be three times faster than your original iPhone chargers out there, all right? You have a very nice, small, compact design and it gives you the ability to fold the prongs in, which makes traveling that much easier. I actually used this when I traveled out to Santorini, Greece like a month or so ago, and this actually held me down in our room from charging my AirPod Maxes, my iPad, power banks, iPhones, all in one, in just that all in one perfect solution. So if you're looking for something to power all your devices, whether you're on the go or you're home or in the office, look no further than the Ugreen 100 watt charger. Make sure you go down below, check the link. It's the Amazon. Make sure you clip all the coupons so you can get a little bit discount. But Let's get back to the video. All right, now one thing that's always gonna be on the list because I'm in the Apple ecosystem is gonna be the Apple Watch Series 7, all right? And this is gonna be the regular aluminum, no stainless steel, and I also didn't do the Sailor model because I just never find myself interested in using the Sailor model. So basically, here it is, man, 46 mil. I think that's what the biggest size of the Apple Watch Series 7 is. And if you wanna know, this is gonna be your Nomad Sport Band. This band also is one of those things that just has a hold on me. I can just not break away from this band because it's absolutely perfect. Nomad offers this in several different colors if you want to pair it up with your phone and everything like that. But there is one new addition that I do use on my Apple Watch, and this is going to basically be the Pataka Air Case. All right. Now, I know some of you are like, what is this little thing right here that is protecting your Apple Watch? And that's exactly what this does because if you're like me, I like to keep all of my devices in pristine condition. And this is basically a real thin air fiber cover right here that simply and let me do it snaps on your phone right here and it basically covers the outside without being anything too bulky or anything like that because we already know when it comes to apple watch protection it can be a mess and look a little bit too bulky but this is very sleek very thin and it's very doable because i have banged the watch very hard on the corner of door frames. I'm surprised this thing has not broke yet. So that's gonna be protected with the Pataka Air Case. So Series 7, Nomad Sport Band, Pataka Air Case with that protection. Now this is also a brand new addition to the Everyday Carry. And I know a lot of you already use these when you talk about Everyday Carry. And this is gonna be the Civivi Kai V. Now I could be butchering that name because I am not a knife person. But one thing that I did want was a knife did I need to unbox some things? If you're like me, man, you do these tech reviews, there's always boxes to open up daily that you get and you need to open them up without having some big, heavy, bulky knife. And that's why I bought this thing right here, man. So it's perfect, fits the bill, very small, has a very, a little belt clip right here 
and it just does wonders whether it's opening up tech products or if you got kids and you know what i'm talking about you go out there and you buy them a product or buy them a toy you get in the car and they want you to open it right now but you don't have any knife to cut anything open with that's where this thing right here serves a very good purpose so this is going to be civivi made out of very nice material man very premium knife i've had this for a while now and it has been holding me down as just being that one little utility knife not to do anything heavy duty but for small little opening things and different stuff like that that's what this right here is used for so i think a lot of people will find this pretty interesting because it's small and kind of fits the bill and gets the job done so this is going to be the kai v from civivi so i'll definitely drop the link down below also if you're watching this for all my night people let me know what you're rocking down below as well and last but not least are going to be two items that i never thought i would find myself using man and that is going to be magsafe wallets now i do have two different versions right here so i do have the original magsafe wallet from apple so this is basically going to be for when i really need minimalist times when i really don't need about two or three cards i can slap this on and go about my day i don't have to worry about having a bunch of cards on me that's when i'll use the apple and besides i love the apple version because they do have that version of find my and i really think that should be incorporated across every single magsafe wallet but we know that's not a thing because that is specific to apple but i do love the apple magsafe wallet it just really lets you cut things down and minimize when you were talking about carry cards but when it's time to have something that carries every single everything that i own just about every card that i need I gotta talk about the Peak Design MagSafe wallet right here. And I absolutely love this wallet. This is probably one of my favorite wallets out of the many that I have already ordered to try to find the best wallet. But this thing right here, so far, this has seven cards in here, all right? This has seven cards. You can just slide them down and you just pull the pull the top right here and the cards will come out and on top of the seven cards I always keep a little bit of cash on me as well now not only is this a magsafe wallet is this also acts as a stand as well all right so you can go about your day and you can go out take yourself out to eat or something like that pop the phone up on the stand or you can even rotate it like this and watch content in landscape mode so this acts two in one as a magsafe wallet but it also acts as a stand as well so you can prop your phone up there man love this this MagSafe wallet. I did a standalone review of this wallet if you do want to check it out, but I love it. But when I'm time for more minimalistic times, I got to go with the Apple MagSafe wallet, all right? So we got the Peak Design. We got the Apple MagSafe wallet. We got the Civivi Kai V little pocket knife. We got our Apple Watch. <laughs> Swing it around. Series 7. The expensive for reason, no, for no reason, Nomad Pen. And we have our AirPod Pros. And you already know, here it is, man, with the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So hopefully you found something out there that can kind of grab that attention so you can go out there and copy them down in the description below. Let me know your everyday carry down there in, in the comment section so I see what everybody else is out there rocking with. But until next time, I'll catch you on the next one. Later.